Hey kids, you uh, you trying to get into Segment City? Well, you really shouldn't, because Segment City is a mature podcast, and listener discretion is advised. I'm just trying to look at, I know I'm in an alleyway, I know, I know how I look, but I got some fireworks for you kids. I got snakes and I got sparklers, that's all I got. Oh, don't give me that. All right, we're here. We're <laughs> we're here. We're not back. We're here. All right, we've never been here before. I'm cutting this part out, this beginning, because we we didn't say anything. About... Hey, welcome, welcome everyone to the first episode of of Segment City, our podcast, our if, little little podcast here. Since it's the first episode, let me describe what it's about. It's you know all the segments in other shows. Yeah, I know. it's all of them. It's this. <laughs> this is we. It's only this. It's. Blatant stealing. It's only segments. No, we're not stealing. <laughs> Don't say that. Hey, we're getting sued in the first episode. Congratulations. Quick Congratulations end us. to a podcast. Uh, fastest lawsuit. It's it's a uh, conversation broken up into segments. So basically, Theo and I have prepared uh, talking points, segments that That's we want right. to talk to yes, each other I'm, about. I'm Theo. This is Will. Oh, don't, don't introduce me. I'm, I'm introducing you. <laughs> Here's me. I'm going to be the host here. I'm going to uncross no. my legs. No, we're And here co-hosts. I am. I'm going to recross my legs. Welcome no. to my show. Don't. This is Segment City. It's He's my show. his legs now. already twice. Ugh. My first guest, Will. Stop. <laughs> flown in from... From where? Sunny. What did I... We're in Boston, Boston and Fort it's Fort not sunny. He's flown in from Fort Lauderdale. From Fort Lauderdale? I've never been there. It's Fort Lauderdale, Mississippi. It's our first it's segment. What, what is Theo talking about? What is he talking about? All right. So yeah, welcome to Segment City. This is uh, we're we're doing segments here. We do all of them. We do your favorite ones. We do your least he favorite took, ones. He just took over the intro. I, I told know. him I would do the intro, and he just will said, said no right before the show. I'll do the intro, and I said okay. But what I meant was, <laughs> you're not doing that. You, I've just been not today. I've been. This is mutiny. <laughs> The it's quickest like, it's a one person mutiny. One person mutiny. You had you had quorum for a minute there, and then <laughs> I went rogue. Hey, I hate you. Why are we doing your podcast? Are we doing, that's together? a cancel it. Oh, uh, cancel podcast. So, welcome. I'm Will Kane. Theo's already said his name. <laughs> so let's do a segment. That's not. Uh, that's not this. All right. Uh, let's. Hey, Theo. Yeah. Theo and I have been friends for a long time, and. Some might say too long. That's the person who says that is you, and you just said that, and it hurts me. <laughs> it hurts me on a personal level for you to say that to me. And uh, I get bored, and my mind is uh, is crazy, mm. so it'll just come up with questions. What's the name of the segment? The name of the segment is well, we, it could be two things. It's one. I'm. It's either Will shower thoughts or how about just showering with Will? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm, I like it. <laughs> Is it you showering with me, Theo? That's uh, you showering oh, with the listener. Oh, listeners, welcome to my shower. <laughs> you got to do this. some ASMR for <laughs> the shower. <laughs> just, just tell me your thing. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be in your shower anymore. It's, all, uh, it's too steamy. The other here. name was uh, Will's weird idea corner, mm-hmm. or Will's stupid thoughts. Uh, I'm, I'm. <laughs> I'm looking at these and I'm like, I'm a fucking idiot. Hey, Theo. Mm. So we drink coffee. Was was this bean water? Yeah, it's. Have you ever thought about that? We strain some water through beans and we go. This is some good drugs in this water to keep me awake. I'm gonna lay this on you. Yeah. People put almond milk in their bean water, and almond milk is actually just almond water. So they put almond the water in the bean. bean water. The double bean. The double, double strained, more solid thing. Theo, you know? Theo, if I'm if I uh, crunch down on a coffee bean, does it give me all the energy at once? Like it's a sensory <laughs> bean from Dragon Ball Z. Can I do? Can I, I wonder. I wonder how much I coffee much? powder you have to eat 
that equates to one cup of coffee? What do you think the ratio is? If you ate the equivalent of one coffee's if worth, if you munch a bunch of coffee, like you grind up the coffee beans to make yourself a cup of coffee, do you even and then you just eat it? it? Chewing is grinding it. You could grind it all up on your mm. own. Why people grind their coffee at all? You got you, could, grinders, what if, you got evolution gave hey, you a coffee grinder, baby. Hey, what if you snort? <laughs> what if you snort some coffee? I bet you it's been done, or I bet you it's not pleasant. No, it probably gets it gives you nose cancer. It probably smells pretty good though. It, it does, and it probably makes you smell pretty good. No, <laughs> you smell like more than coffee. It's a little energizer. How can people? If you snort why coffee, why isn't coffee cologne caught on? Why is that not a thing? Why haven't what? Food, hold on. Why haven't hold on? Why have not food? Scented Yo. colognes. Okay, imagine pitch me on a food scented cologne, Theo. I just what came. Food okay, think. Imagine, about? imagine I came over just now. I came over to report the, record this mm-hmm. podcast. Yes. I knock on the door. Yeah. I open the door to come in. I smell like cookies. Oh Jesus Christ! Like a you are ch- delighted. I'm gonna say deny that. me this. You are delighted. <laughs> no, I would be disappointed the moment you said I don't have cookies. I just smell like cookies, and I'd be <laughs> salivating right now. And okay, everyone, maybe maybe a little something else. Everyone would hear it. Um, I smell like Bacon. I smell like I smell like garlic. I smell. Like, <laughs> I would just, uh, but not too strong. Like That's a nice, so like a nice, tasteful garlic. No, like a, there's uh, never like a I've just been just been cooking and mm-hmm. sautéing, and Jeff Goldblum was in my kitchen. Put it, put it in the uh, 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 saute it up. Uh, 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 welcome, uh, welcome to this segment called uh, 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 Jeff Goldblum. Mm. Mm. Jeff Goldblum, um, mm. uh, very interviewing uh, himself. I've got, uh, I've got uh, uh, myself here. I've got um, uh, Jeff Goldblum. W- welcome, welcome, Jeff. I, I love your coat. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. I got it from um, uh, a woman in uh, in, in in Indonesia. Oh, um, mm. um, I and remember and my and time and in and Indonesia. And it was wonderful. So you're telling me that you wouldn't like it if I smelled like a food. Okay. We're what if I smelled? That. I thought that it had a little bit <laughs> <laughs> legs on it. We kind of you I'm kind sure, of realized sure. I didn't have a bit about Indonesia, and then you said we're cutting this. <laughs> we're cutting it right here. I'm sure Jeff Goldblum will uh, reappear on the podcast. He's, he's, uh, <laughs> he's a favorite of ours. He's a favorite. Oh, you trendsetter, you. Oh. So yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd wear it. I mean, it smells better than Axe. Who? What's the last time you had an Axe? I mean, you sp- you go to a lot of middle school locker rooms, oh, like <laughs> oh, she's getting really hot in here. I got it. <sighs> That's called gotcha journalism. <laughs> <laughs> and I really got you there. You did get me. I got you. I would. Mm, what food would I? You could smell like a nice fruit basket. Fru- they would have fruity ones. Fruit yeah, ones but are they're mostly ju- aimed at, at at females, at women. Mm. Here's the thing I wonder. Here's the thing yeah. I wonder. They make cologne for women. Yeah. That is supposed to cologne for women. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the question. I'm, is I'm it a called? Marketing, I'm a marketing. Did you genius. forget the word for <laughs> They make cologne, they actually they make cologne for actually. men that is supposed yeah. to smell attractive to women. Yeah. And they make f- perfume. To women, that is supposed to be attractive to men. Now, why don't men just cut to the chase and wear the perfume themselves if they like the <laughs> scent so much? <laughs> and there would be a bunch of men kissing other men, and there'd be anarchy. Nothing wrong no, with that. There's nothing, nothing wrong, with, wrong that. with that. But also, it would just be a bunch of men going, mm, "Todd, oh, oh, oh Todd, Todd, you smell you, floral today. You smell uh, very oh, floral. I feel. I can't think straight." Whoa! <laughs> is, there, is there a lot of pheromones in the- <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of Todd, you, bro, bro. Bro, what kind of cologne are you wearing? Bro, I know I'm supposed to be spotting you, but I can't stop smelling you. Mm. Let me get in those packs. <laughs> Let me get up in that. <laughs> ah, you smell like fruit. You smell it's like, like a fruit basket. It's. I want the smell of when you freshly peel an orange, and the citrus gets mm. on your hands, and you're like. Oh, nice. No, see, I don't like that smell because I know like I know that I've just gotten juice on your hands, underneath my fingernails. You got Can't a lot get that of juice out. under your fingernails. Yeah, you're peeling an orange. You got <laughs> it. <laughs> what else you got? Sloppy. What? How are you, how are you suggesting that I peel an orange without with dignity? <laughs> <That's wrong. laughs> with glass, darling. <laughs> with a knife. We used to have a, a thing that was like a hook that you hooked around. You into the <laughs> orange, and you don't laugh at this. This is right. No, <laughs> and, and you just circle it around, and then you just like 
<laughs> peel off I one half of this peel because off the other if half. you ever lose a hand, I'm going to insist that this is the attachment <laughs> they put on your arm. <laughs> Yarr, it's me, Orange Claw. Orange Claw. <laughs> I, my claw smells very good. <laughs> and all my crew's like, oh my god, Orange Claw, you oh smell god. so good. Orange, Orange Claw, uh, any, any slices Can for I call us? you, Todd? <laughs> <laughs> any slices for us, Captain? Mm, scurvy. <laughs> we need to get rid of this scurvy. There's so much scurvy. Oh, gosh. What did we original? What was the original question? Uh, oh, it was about coffee beans. We've gotten. Oh past yeah, yeah, that. that's good. Hey, welcome to our segment, Fruity McTooties, <laughs> <laughs> Fruity Cuties with Fruity Cuties and the Tootie McBooties. Video. Well, I have a question for you. Yes. I, have a, I have a segment. Some might say this is stealing. N- nobody said that yet. I'm about to say it because it's true. I'm about to ask you a million dollars butt question. Beef. <laughs> Beef! <laughs> Okay. Mm-hmm. This is a game we like to play. Yeah. Million dollars, but I make a proposition to Will. Yes. I say you can have a million dollars, but it comes with strings attached. Okay. Here's 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 the strings. Will, you get a million dollars. I like that. But more. for the rest of your life, yes. You have to introduce yourself to every single person you meet as a different name. <laughs> <laughs> Who says I don't already do this? If you do, you are a, so- a sociopath. There's an entire segment of people at my office who just know me as Other Will. And that's humiliating. And no, so I- I'm saying, like, if you're introducing yourself to four different people, you have to say, Hi, so I'm, I have to say, Hi, I'm, I'm Tim. Todd. Hi, I'm Bill. Hi, I'm Rick. Hi, I'm Phil. That's a- And if they say, if they look at you funny and say, Wait, but what's your real name? You then have to give another different name. Every time okay. you're. Na- yeah, okay. So it has, to be, a, it has ask- to be a unique name that you've never given anyone before. I don't think I could do this. You don't think so? I think, I think I would have to lead a life on the run <laughs> constantly because nobody, I would, people couldn't. I couldn't talk to a person twice because they would instantly be like, "He's a crazy person." Yeah, but in in isolated social interaction interactions, you could, um, you know, if you met someone who really liked you, could introduce yourself as Tim, and then they'd call you Tim, and you would never have to correct them. You could you could be Tim to them, but if they ever asked what your name was again, you'd have to tell them a different name. You just have to assume that they'd never can like I, you've only asked me my, res- you've only ever asked me my name once. Can right? I respond in the affirmative when people say, "Hey, this is Tim"? Yes, you don't have to. I can just go. Mm-hmm. But if you're introducing yourself, like if you're at in at uh, if you're on the phone or something, mm. say hi. This is this is Willie Abib. I'm going to presume that I can't tell people about this malady that I have. No, you can't. You can't this, explain it. No, you can't. This curse it. of no name. Uh, this is a million dollars. This is a million this dollars. This is a million to be a liar. How much is my honesty worth? I mean, do you think you could live a relatively normal life given this affliction? I could probably... You could try. I could try, but the mo- I feel like the jig is up the moment somebody says, what's your name next to somebody you already know? Mm. Say, I am I am Bartholomew. And- <laughs> Bartholomew? <laughs> As somebody says- He's making an ass out of himself. <laughs> Wait, what's up? Donkey's I also knee. I think they go like, hee-haw. Hee-haw. Yep. It's me, Bartholomew. Bar- <laughs> <laughs> can I do a different character? Can I make it a bit? Can I do a good bit? Like if I'm, oh, yeah, it's me, it's me. I'm Mark. <laughs> like I don't know <laughs> what voice is that. But why would you introduce yourself as a very normal name like <gasps> Mark and then say? Arr! I would go. Wow, I'm Owen. <laughs> yeah, Owen Wilson. That, that would wow. be that would be one. One. <laughs> Shit. In your entire life, that would be one. And then they would go, "What's your real name?" And then I go, wow, this bit, I can't do it forever. I just I just thought about this a little bit more. I can't do that for every can't do that one. for very long. Wow. Uh, this tough. is a really tough one, tough Theo. One. Normally the ones I give people, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You have to, say, you have to balance it. Yeah, I think my answer on this would be. I, well, I want to like, give, I think you've thought of, I got to. I want. Um, I think you're gonna poison my answer. With okay, I won't say anything. Answer. I won't say anything then. Mm. This is tough because imagine you meet the love of. Imagine that you meet the love of your life yeah. and you introduce us. I'm Will. I'm Will Kane, and then you're going to meet their parents. 
I can't. I'm, it would ruin I'm, so many relationships. I can't do it. Flip nugget. Because I can't say, honey, this is just a thing I do. I'm a, like, because she would send me to, like, a psych ward. Yeah. I can't. No, I can't do it. You can't do it. I can't. It's just on the, but I feel like I could live that lie. I just don't want to. I think, I think that this scenario would somehow manage to land you in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think that if you did this. Wait, do you have to write your name different? Yeah. So my, I would have to sign every check. As from a, a different, different name. Yeah. No, that's fraud immediately. That's... <laughs> I'm going to say no. <laughs> well, glad we cleared that up because I, I had the million dollars right here. Oh, no. Hey, open that door for my cat. She's trying to get out. Meow, am I right? Me... Oh, listen, no. there's meow. She's going to claw her way back in in like two minutes, though. That's going to ruin the audio quality. Let's do another segment. Yeah. That was a great million dollars butt segment. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got you, dude. I got you, dude. So I I sometimes read the news, and I saw one. This was a while back that I saw this, and I thought, <laughs> I really liked the headline is just, it's very uh, scary. It's a scary headline, but it also made me I'm laugh. Buckled. All right, so here's the headline, ladies and gentlemen. China opens up a Pandora's box of human genetic engineering. Hey, what the fuck, China? <laughs> hey, China? Hey, China? Hey, China, hey, China what'd China? you do? China, I had one request for you, hey, and it was to not. That's the one box you're not supposed to open. Hey, you know that? What? Let's name famous boxes. Mm-hmm. Pandora? That's it. China, what'd you do this time? China. That's it. There's only one famous box, and, and you're not supposed to open it. Oh, China, what'd you do with this? So, this is an article from Bloomberg. If you could think of more famous boxes... Tweet Ronald Reagan. We don't have a Twitter yet. Soon. I also said tweet Ronald Reagan. You yeah. He's, he has, <laughs> imagine tweets from Ronald Reagan. Oh, well, the Gipper. Oh, I'm going to butcher this name. Do you want to say this name? You, Here we go. It's he. What's. It's Juan. He, Jen Kui. Kui. I don't know. Jen Kui. Jen Kui. That's Let's go with that. Uh, it's spelled J I A N K U I. He, Jen Kui. An American educated scientist based in uh, Sichuan announced on Monday that he used CRISPR, a powerful gene editing tool, yeah, CRISPR. to make recently born twin girls resistant to HIV. Right. His statement, which is not backed by peer reviewed uh, data, has not been verified, prompting wide end condemnation from scientists in China and el- elsewhere. Everyone's just going, What the fuck do you do that for? Yeah, there's got to be some ethics here, people. Um,. And it's called irresponsible because nobody knows what it, like, CRISPR's brand new and they're just like, he's just like, we just broke, we just cut the atom. It's, We're going to mess with it. China quick. has very few rules around this. You know, that's the problem. Like, you've the, heard of um, Yao yeah, Ming, right? The basketball player? Mm-hmm. Seven foot two, I think. He was like a monster. He was, he was crazy good. What does he have was, to do? He was the product of Chinese genetic engineering. Really? The Chinese government got his parents together who were both like six foot ten but is it and they sick? said they didn't know each other and they said yeah. go have a baby but is and it genetic like, engineering it's more so like when genetic. they they did a whole bunch of they did a whole bunch of experiments when he was in the womb mm-hmm. and then growing up he like was like raised in a lab and Ooh. he was like constantly tested on and then he made it to the yes. nda <laughs> And, and the, the whole point, point of it was that... Are you saying that Carl Drago from... <laughs> Carl... Dr- is it Carl Drago? Carl Drago? Uh, no, from uh, Rocky IV. Because <laughs> 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 he takes steroids and he's in a lab, like, punching bags and stuff. <laughs> he's, like, going... And they're just like, we've made the perfect boxer. The perfect and then Rocky's just in a hut, hut somewhere, running through the snow real fast. So scenario. they made him the... They're just like, what's the what's the point? They yeah, just dude. wanted... They're just yeah, messing dude. with it. And then that was the whole thing. They wanted to prove to the West that they weren't so small. They sent him to the NBA to make a big uh, impact. Uh, so they're just... <laughs> they Yeah, so the uh, article goes on to say that they just don't have any... Like, Europe and US is like, no, yeah. don't do that. Yep. Um, but China does not, and they've been messing with, like, AI and stuff, which is... there. I feel like they're going to make a Terminator. Like, this yeah, is where on track. it leads... This a is really a buff, buff Terminator. <laughs> Very you know, tall. U.S. was like, our one defense event's Terminators, HIV. We've, We've been, been defeated. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> also, that scientist is like, hey, I might fuck up these twins, but they're going <laughs> to be able to be real but, good. But, but they might be resistant to HIV so with pretty good response. upside. Is it? They might be like, they <laughs> no, might, it's a scientist. They might like, grow up and they're just like, ah, hell. 
help me. <laughs> it's like, well, they're not going to get HIV. Um, but yeah, he, he went to a conference and he showed off his stuff. And apparently, uh, experts said the editing was flawed and could put the babies at risk for future health problems. Yeah, no, <laughs> so he, no, fucked he, yeah. he fucked it up and they were like, how the hell did he get through this? He he went full mad scientist. He went full movie yeah. scientist. He forged signatures. He went off the books for this one. <laughs> making the, He's like, I'm... This humans, will be my thing. don't understand genealogy yet. Genetics? We don't understand genetics yet. Why are you messing around in there? So it's in China. Like, it's a weird information, uh, like, black spot sometimes. <laughs> Part of this article is they're just like, so yeah, it might have been flawed. They showed it off, but it wasn't, like, very good data. Um, he went missing. Or he's under house arrest. We don't know. We don't know where he is. It's, it, it feels like China's going, no, no, no. <laughs> you bet you messed up. You better not. But also give me this. Give but me all this research. But also we want to make super soldiers. So. Give us this sick research. Oh, no. You, we, you, you, you naughty boy. But give me that research. Give me that sick research. Thank God. Wow. Well, yeah. So they so opened up that. A weird piece of news. That. Got some news segment for you. That's some news. That was terrifying. That was uh, terrifying. Do you got some? I got a. I got a segment for you. Okay. Ooh. So this is the name of the podcast. So get yeah, listeners a little insight into the life of Theo. Theo listens to a lot of uh, rap music. Oh, I'm I'm hooked. He's I'm hooked. hooked on this segment. We got him. So I hope this is a recurring. <laughs> you know? I hope this is a recurring segment. I've I've dug up a few um, rap lyrics here. Yeah. I want you to like try to decipher these. Tell me. <laughs> tell me what you think these mean. Okay. All right. First of all, we got got a line, a bar from Hell of a Price by Gunna. Well, the bar goes, Gunna got his own rhythm, big drip like Godzilla. Okay. Wait. What do you think this means? Big drip. Like a urinary tract infection. <laughs> He's just dripping everywhere. Yeah, you know, all the gangsters really want each other to know about their, their URIs. When Godzilla was in the hospital, and they gave him an IV. <laughs> they gave him an IV, and he got that big drip going. He got a big drip by Gunna. He's got... <laughs> He's got very. He's got the runs. He's he's, he's got, got the runs. big drip. He's got the big drip. Oh, give, give me another track. So, do you want me to tell you what this actually means or not? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Well. Okay. So, big drip. Big drip. Drip is uh, when you you got ice on you. Ice is, is diamonds. Okay. But your bars are so fired that they're melting. That's big drip. So you got the combination of the diamonds. Sir, he's getting too hot. Sir, he's going <laughs> up. He's the human torch. <laughs> it's fine. He has his own fire. It's his ice. It's his time. It's he's a big drip. <laughs> <laughs> that necklace was cold when he brought it in. All right, next line. Mm -hmm. it's, called, it's, it's from a, a song called My Shit Bang by E-40. My Shit Bang. Okay, that's good. He says, trying to get rich in this collecting, stack my money. You can tell that I'm a D-boy by my ball of tummy. <laughs> 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 my baller tummy. Yeah, this guy's my, right. He's my your... baller tum tums. His baller tum tums. <laughs> Wait, does that mean he's fat? Because he's got a big ball of big boy. He's like Santa Claus. <laughs> he's got a big <laughs> jelly. And the best part about this, he's a he's a big man. He's in his forties. He's a very cl he's a classic West Coast rapper, and he wears his glasses on the tip of his nose like this, <laughs> like, like a little grandma from, <laughs> <laughs> from Westworld. Um, I remember now. I forgot my lines, but it's like Bernard, push your glasses up. Bernard, Bernard, they're gonna fall off your face. He's, he's like, I don't need to read when I'm on the stage. <laughs> what, wait, can you just drop that line on me again? I want right. to hear it again. Trying to get, oh, he says, trying to get rich in this collecting, stack my money in this collect, like <laughs> trying to get in this collecting, stack my money. Ringing the bell in the yeah. corner, <laughs> getting rich in this for the children. You can tell that I'm a D boy by my bowler tummy. My D, uh, what's a D boy? That's you tell me what is a deep boy? boy is a uh, <laughs> a very saucy boy. <laughs> <laughs> a very saucy boy. A, a bad student. <laughs> <laughs> He's barely ca barely passing. As my grandpa would say, D for dandy, because that's what <laughs> my grandpa dandy. got in school. Uh, he's so, a D boy. He's a D boy. Does he have? Mm, he's either a gang or he's just like. Look at my D. <laughs> he's trying to my D boy. He's he's bragging. He, they call himself a D boy because that's that's his biggest feature. Hey, I'm a D man. D man. 
So this is he's he's actually bragging about. You can tell he's a big boy. He's bragging about his belly because he's eating because he's so rich. That's the thing. That's he's not, a D boy. He's like a drug dealer. He's we're getting in the that first money. world right now. That's not. That. You know, that's some like like it's like a 15th century logic. <laughs> I am the lord and I eat when I please. I am the king of this land and I'm a big fat. Prefer to me <laughs> as D king. D king. <laughs> Look at my not big D boy. boy. That <laughs> is my son. <laughs> D sire to you. D sire. D king. <laughs> D, D majesty. <laughs> With my big belly. <laughs> All right, I got one more for you. Oh, uh, so I'm loving these already. Four a.m. by two chains. Four a.m. That's real late or early. Drop a pin. Send a location. I'm a pull up in that bullet coop spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. <laughs> you you drop a driver. pin. Send a location. I'm a pull up in that bullet coop spaceship. In that bullet coop spaceship. Yeah. Are coupes known for being very nice cars? I don't know anything about cars. Bullet coupe. A bullet coupe. Usually a coupe means it's got two doors, I think. <laughs> well, oh, no. He's got one of those... <laughs> <he's> got... <laughs> Come up to a club in a spaceship? Like, just a UFO? <laughs> <laughs> like, Whoa! He, comes, he walks into a club with a full astronaut suit. <laughs> I just got home I just got Mars. 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 <laughs> I was just doing a show on Mars to the rover oh, there. Just, I just ate potatoes for eight months. I went full Martian. <laughs> he pulls up to the club in that bullet coop spaceship. Pull up Google Maps. Put a thing on the <laughs> map. <laughs> Wait, I first run map with map. I'm an idiot. I like that your first instinct was that Two chains is an Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> Put that, that Drop mark in, come get me. I called you. You <laughs> you didn't answer your phone, and then I'm I, waiting on the other side of the street. I got another person in the car. They're getting impatient. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you the right person? Is this a <laughs> it's a full rap about trying to find your Uber rider? <laughs> <laughs> is this a <laughs> Is this an Uber for Todd? What do you mean? That's not your name. Did you take some guy a million dollars, but <laughs> Oh, I see how it is. I, see how it is. Oh. I love those. Yeah. Well, okay. So this explanation is bullet coop spaceship generally refers to a Lamborghini spaceship. B- bullet coop spaceship is a Lamborghini. Who? Who says that? I don't know, but he's bragging about his, his... You know what? If you have a Lamborghini, mm-hmm. you can brag about it whatever way you want. Because you've got a Lamborghini. <laughs> No. Well, if you're referring well, to it as a spaceship, when I like you're a child, I'm gonna pull up in your house in my bullet coop spaceship. You already. <laughs> you have one more car than I do, and that one car is a sick whip. Is a sick... <laughs> <laughs> a nice electric powered sick whip. It doesn't even make that sound. It's silent. I don't think it has the ability to make that. <sighs> Usually, the skirt is when you when you turn the skirt like skirt. Skirt, skirt, skirt. And that concludes. What does this la- rap lyric mean? That's our segment. <laughs> <laughs> what does this, ra- this rap lyric even mean? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, 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 lingo. Hey, cool street people. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. What's a cool the word on the street? I don't know. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, there's an H and M, an H and M man next to my work. Wait. Does they make H and M man? Yeah, it says it on the I outside. Thought it was, it I was, thought it was just like a generic, like you know, kind of, kind they of. They put it on the outside, man. I don't know if it was because the first floor was men's stuff. No D boys. No D. <laughs> <laughs> no D boys. Get out of here. <laughs> you smell like fruit. Yeah, get in here. <laughs> Not in here. I saw a sweatshirt that was all Garfield's. <laughs> I think it said to you. Yeah, yeah you did. Covered and in Garfield. You asked me. You asked me. Is this fashion? Is this and fashion? my my thought was, if you put it on an attractive enough person, it is fashion. It absolutely, is it fa- is fashion. So I did not put it. On. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm nagging myself. Hey, I think I think we should wrap it up. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> The good way to end is say welcome. Get out of here. Get into my house. This is my segment, city. This, this is mean you're not. Right. No, I'm, you aren't. I'm renting. I'm renting space in your segment, city. Second city. It's a big city. Very expensive. 
Oh, <laughs> I've got a big salary. I, I drive a bullet coupe. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> he's got a big D salary. I'm, I got, I'm a D boy. I've got a big he's ball. Big, of <laughs> <laughs> a big ball of dummy. Uh, thank you, everyone, Thanks, for nice. for listening to this episode of Segment City. Uh, if you would like to email us with your own segment or have any comments about the show, we have an email. Woo! That's all we have right now. Uh, it's Segment it's, City. It's, some say that's good enough. Is it? I want people to tweet at me. Hey, everyone, tweet at me. Don't say anything now, because then someone will actually tweet at you. Just tell them the email. Tell them the okay. email. Here we go. It's segmentcitypodcast dot at gmail dot com. All one word, all lowercase. Once again, segment uh, segmentcitypodcast at gmail dot com. Wonderful. Remember to subscribe and rate us mm-hmm. and do all the fun things. Tell tell your friends about us. Yeah. Just a Almost. couple of segment boys. Hey, you're probably our friends if you're listening <laughs> to this. Right, as of right now, if you're listening to episode one, congratulations. Double you got in at the ground level. Double neg. Double neg. Double, double, double neg, 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 neg. That was some sick Foley work. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a sick sound work. I'm sensing a new career for you. you know? <laughs> Get out of that game industry. Get into the Foley work. There's so much work. All right, folks. That'll do it Wait, for us this time. I want to thank Rachel Robinson for providing... Our theme song. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Uh, look up her podcast, Create Loud. It's wonderful. She's m- much farther in than we are, and a good friend of us. she speaks with much more knowledge than we do about interesting things. So, do you just triple neg? Hey, triple neg. Triple. You know what? But I'm but a tri- smart college educated. Triple, boy. triple neg, but triple honesty. Wow. Well, that's that's, that's nice. quadruple neg. That's a nice <laughs> way to end. So, thank you once again, and good night from Segment City. Is that going to be all right? I want that to be. No. Mm. We'll think about it. Goodbye. Bye.